Welcome to Paige and Brian's cabin. Come on in. Come, come. So this is our main entrance. Technically it's our front door, but it looks like a side door. So come on in. So this is our 300 square foot cabin. And yeah, so I'll show you around. So this is a shelving unit that you'll see when you come into the place on the left. Basically we use it now for books. Um, we have some games up there, some DVDs, some of my most special photos. Um, and down here on the bottom is dedicated to food and our like silverware and stuff because we don't have much kitchen space. But yeah, for now this is what we've done with our shelving unit and then under we hold our shoes down here um, Brian and I keep our shoes down here it stays on this rug just to keep it clean and then over here in the corner we have our broom and a frisbee so we can play and then we also keep our like bags purses for me Brian's fanny pack and jackets so yeah and then if you follow this way we have our kitchen <laughs> The kitchen is pretty small, um, but it's totally durable, doable. We have a mini fridge. I'll give you a sneak peek into our fridge. It's kind of packed right now, so we need to definitely grub up on stuff. And it's cruelly free and vegan. <laughs> and then we have a four burner stove um, and then plenty of space to bake stuff. Over here we have a toaster oven. Since we don't use microwaves, we thought it'd be better to have a toaster oven. Um, and then we have our knife set, which is nice, and then a little sink. Um, and it's good to have some things hanging on here so it kind of frees up the counter and we can see what we have up there. So it kind of helps because we don't need much utensils, but what we do use um, regularly, we keep up there, including our spices. And then we have a pantry up here. We keep, um, obviously, plates and bowls, mugs food and then some other random stuff up there it's not the most organized right now but um it is kind of high <laughs> so we might have to get a stool for all uh the, at least the top shelf but yeah we definitely have um a lot in here okay so follow along this way on this side we have a beautiful water stand from aqua pure shout out we definitely like our reverse osmosis filtration system water Clean water, it's great. Um, we keep uh, our trash here for the kitchen and then we put recyclables in a bag. Over here we have our yoga mats where we just keep for here now and then Brian's. Uh, this is Brian's tissue massage roller. Okay, so following along this wall we have our vision board. This is actually going to be in another video. We're going to talk about how we manifested this cabin and We'll talk and discuss uh, the law of attraction, how to use it, how to manifest. And yeah, we worked hard on this and so I'm super proud. And then that leads into our bed. So this is our bed. Um, it's really cozy. We've kept it in the corner over here. Um, we have our nightstand over here too, where uh, we put all of our yoga books under here and then my meditation cushions under there and then we just keep some things in here and our phone chargers on the side. Super simple, um, but it's nice to have like a little night drawer next to where we sleep because we put our waters there at night and hold books and whatnot. So yeah. And then over here, you might have seen in the front, this was actually the front door to this uh, building, which was previously um, actually an office space. And we don't really like it because it doesn't really look homey. So we turned it into a mirror and we got these amazing curtains from Brian's mom that we have and we keep it locked up. It's basically our window uh, and it's really nice because it is tinted from the outside but it's really big so we get a lot of natural lighting which is great for us, especially to wake up to. Um, we have our calendar here and we put um, my tripod right there. This is a foldable desk um, and then under I just keep some more electronics and uh, paper stuff. We have our backpacks to the side. Originally we thought about using this area as a desk area to sit on the floor and do work on because it is a nice desk. Um, but we ended up doing that on our kitchen table, which I'll get to. So, and on this side we have our wall heater. 
um, it's forced air that heats the space. It heats it pretty fast, but it does dry out our skin. So we don't always have it on. We're trying to be actual mountain people and survive <laughs> this weather, which is not too bad because it is supposed to be spring. So we are thankful for this. So moving along over here, we have another little side table. Um, it's kind of cool. It's a folding table, um, but on top of it, I put my diffuser and our little plant friend and a little picture. And under here, we kept some more yoga and workout stuff just to keep it all together and tucked in its little spot. What I really like doing is um, having containers like this just to keep things together because it minimalizes on clutter and like things should be with like things. So that's kind of my um, motto for minimalism. One of my mottos. And then over here, we have our dining table. It's actually kind of our dining table slash prep area for <laughs> meals slash office space. It's kind of multifunctional. Um, we like to eat Japanese style. So we have pillows. This is my panda bed. We have pillows that we keep under here to sit on. Um, and eventually we'll get more pillows when we want to host. But it's really nice because it's low and it's a very sturdy wooden table. But these are for our neighbors, but they weren't home, so these are ours. But yeah, vegan cookies for our neighbors because vegan. <laughs> They're so good, by the way. I can tag the, I can actually, in the video, or I can actually tag the recipe down below. So check out for that. And then follow along. We're going to go through this area. So now we're gonna be entering our bathroom slash closet storage area. The cool thing about this is that there's a pocket door, so we can close it for privacy, which is really nice, um, but we kind of just like to keep it open. So follow in. So on this side, when you walk in, this is to the right, we have a dresser, which actually was in the cabin um, prior, us to move. prior to us moving, it was over where our bed was but we put it here. So this is our dresser and we use some of the drawers for storage as of now and then some of it we have clothes and other toiletry stuff. It's really nice to have a big window though. So, and we have more counter space, which is great because we don't have much sink space. And then over here we have a hanging closet rack, um, which is really helpful. So we can hang our clothes and scarves and whatnot. And then under here I just have another bin for my shoes that I don't normally wear on a day-to-day -day basis, so I just keep them together. And then I have my suitcase, and then we have other things stored back here, um, just to, like, keep out of the way, so. But, yeah, that's our little closet area. And then on this side, you can see where we have our laundry basket, which is super accessible. And then Brian has put his tools here for now, which is just kind of, like, out of the way, but there was enough space there, so we just kind of used it. And then, going this way, we have our sink area, we have a little vanity uh, with a medicine cabinet that we have our main like toiletry essentials. And then a sink, uh, and then down here is really not stuff that we put under there besides like an extra extension cord, but it was paint and stuff that was left, that was left over from um, I guess the previous tenant or whatnot. But yeah, the sink is great and we really like it. So yeah, and then over here you can see we have a rack which is really nice to hang our towels so they can dry. Um, and that leads to the shower, which is really cool. It's a small shower, small standing shower, super durable. I'll open it up so you can see we have all of our bath products um, up there in one place for convenient access. And yeah, it just kind of keeps it clutter free in here, which is great. And then last but not least, we have our toilet area. Um, we just purchased the squatting potty, which we'll probably do another video about once we try it out. Um, and yeah, we just keep our trash can and toilet paper there for now. Um, but it's a great spot. So yeah, that's our bathroom and this is the main room. Again, it's 300 square feet of space for me and Brian. Um, and we feel pretty homey, I would say. So basically this is a tour of what our little cabin looks like at night. It is kind of dark. We do have those track lights up there, but we only um, needed that one at the very top because they were really bright. But we 
love, okay, just kidding. I love mood lighting and I love Christmas lights. So we have um, one strand over our bed to provide like an ambiance and it helps when we're reading in bed too. Um, and then, as you can see, our curtains are closed, which provides privacy and blocks out any light outside. Um, and then you'll see the other strand of lights um, hung up on the other side so we can eat over there at our dinner table and it just looks really nice. And then going through into our bathroom, what's really cool is that these lights look blue but they're purple. You can see the candle um, there on top of our toilet so it's really dark but yeah so we have those purple lights strung up there and it's just actually really like calming and peaceful when we take showers at night. Um, yeah, so we don't have much light. I also have my little diffuser over there that has light. Oh, look, who's that? I think that's Brian eating. <sighs> He's eating cookies. Mm, those were amazing eating cookies. So yeah, it's not much light, like I said, but it's totally worth it. So I think we feel pretty moved in, don't you? What did you say? Pretty settled, yeah. Yeah, so it is a small space and... Um, we consider it like a tiny home or a tiny cabin, considering how much space it is. But um, it's, it's really, tiny. it is pretty tiny, yeah. But it's still it's cozy. totally doable for us. And we do call ourselves somewhat minimalist, I would say. <laughs> At least working towards minimalist. Um, I do love books, so I have a lot of books. But yeah, what would you say? Our have, style is. I don't have much, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're trying to work to be we're mindful of the objects we do keep and put into our home and our space and um, we probably will change things around here and there because we do like change and to kind of work with the feng shui of the space but um, yeah we hope you all like this tour. Anything left to say? Peace and love always. Yes this is Brian and Paige from Activist Raising Awareness and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!